Hello and welcome to my video, describing a little bit about the process of my D1B project. Because I based my project in Birmingham in the future year of 2050, I initially described and generated a setting of the future early on in the project to illustrate a narrative which would then drive the research of the project forward. As described in the page before you, that generated setting was as follows. The world's population is at 9.7 billion and the majority of people live in cities rather than towns and villages. The result of this being the streets of Birmingham have become congested with infrastructure, with green spaces having been critically utilised for development, and buildings are encroaching and towering in a layer of smog over the people of Birmingham. It is a concept in which for the occupants this has become a normal environment. It has therefore become crucial to integrate nature in this somewhat detrimental concrete environment in order to keep both connected to our roots as well as allowing nature to thrive. Therefore, I created a project brief that was to create an urban habitat in which natural biodiversity can thrive and original species can occur to be appreciated and foraged by the occupants of the city. The initial idea of creeping urbanisation's impact on rural land led to the development of the conceptual agenda, with the question on how long will it be until humans have to fully sustain themselves within the urban environment. This resulted in researching to other forms of sustainability, such as urban foraging, a concept which is an up-and-coming current trend and featured in existing restaurants such as the Wilderness in Birmingham. It was suggested by my tutor to research the idea further through presence such as sci-fi films like Blade Runner to give me ideas of what people might be eating in the future due to food scarcity. I then created my own ideas of the future through cut and paste collages which was quite an easy method of depicting initial ideas quickly. The site location of the project was an important element in the process with the initial contextual analysis of the site focused on the geology of the city to depict the areas of land that would be suitable for the urban habitat. I would also like to just mention the workings of the course, in particular the personal tutors. I tried to meet my design tutor every two weeks. I found, especially in my design project, it helps me to keep on track and we're able to set realistic goals for the next meeting, so the project is always progressing. From my first year, I've had the same tutor for my technology, cultural context and professional practice work and then a different tutor each year for my design work. I feel with the RABA studio and our personal tutors, we have the advantage of a longer, more focused one-to-one -one discussion where we can take a bit more control over our studies. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have found it helpful.